I'd been doing the kind of positive role modeling um, work in schools for a long time. Um, but it, I suppose it was the Dickie Bird statue project that brought it to the fore. It brought TV and visitors in from all around the cricketing world uh, to see what was happening. And we had 340 odd children engaged at some point in the creation. Even if you only helped pug the clay, you were up, and, and young men stop, or young women stop me now and say, I helped to make that statue, you know, I took my grandma to see it last week and that kind of thing. Um, so, and I find that very satisfying and I think young people do and it's a memory that's fixed there. It also happens to be, makes you a little bit prouder um, of, of the town. We, we've got one of virtually every athlete in this town. Take a single sport like cricket then I very often challenge groups I speak to outside Barnsley and say, well, name another town that's got a, a world-class bowler, batsman, coach and umpire, um, born or bred or engaged. And they can't, quite simply. We've some amazing women from here. Barnsley wasn't really known um, as a high-flying women's town when I was young there were very few positive role models then but you look round now and again we've got one of virtually everything you know we've got Joanne Harris who as a child says I'm going to be an author I'm going to write a book uh, and I'm going to go to Cambridge and I'm going to be a teacher children talk like that in my day and she's done all three of course